Hey guys, sorry, I'm haphazardly coming on right now. I apologize. I've been um, trying to change a Disney reservation, which is so fun right now to do. But one of my friends figured out a way to do it. But now that I'm trying to do it, it's not showing my friends that I need to add. It's so weird. Anyway. Sorry, that's my dilemma right now. Catherine's the first one on. Michelle says she can't make it tonight and that Catherine had to hold up the um, the the first commenter mantle. So hi, Catherine. I'm happy you're here. You, you made it to one. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Welcome. <gasps> Michelle, you did make it. Hey, I found out how to do the thing. Think, thanks to Belinda. So we'll, we're gonna we're gonna get you on there. But now it's not showing my friends and family list, so I don't know what to do. But I'm gonna figure it out right after one in chat. Um, let's see. Uh, Michelle's in Japan. I'm assuming Epcot, Japan. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by for two seconds. <laughs> All right, what is everybody drinking tonight? I have water. I'm almost out, too. I meant to get some prior to one in chat. Um, so we'll go through a couple things. Standard wine in chat tonight. Um, shouldn't be more than an hour tonight. I think all my usuals aren't here, so I need all you guys to, like, you know, come in and comment and keep me entertained <laughs> while I'm talking for the next hour. Um, so if you have any questions, if this is your first time on here, if you have any questions at all, you can ask at any time. Um, I'll cover some, like, basic stuff. But if you guys have questions, the, um, there are nerd up questions. If you have the question, somebody else probably does, too. So, um Yes. Okay, Catherine brought her usual to drink. I don't remember what your usual is. Is it rum? I can't remember. Um, While well, you guys are letting me know what you're drinking, I did want to, uh, one of the first things I wanted to mention, I talked about this last time, but we do have all the machines that we're going to rent out have come in. So we have 12 machines that we'll be able to rent out and we're doing it on a, um, a class basis per class basis and on a, um, on a, also a full day. So if you want to just rent for the full day, um, yeah, if you have a question, just go ahead and uh, drop it in Vanessa and I will pull it up. Um, oh, and Catherine's drinking tequila on the rocks. My bad. Sorry, but that does sound good. Me too. Um, uh, yeah, but the uh, so, um, but doing it by class allows us to um, use those machines more frequently for people um, who need one for you know even if it, you need it for just one class or if you know you're gonna go on lunch break and you don't you're not gonna go anywhere but you want to sew on something and maybe you don't have your machine um, you can rent it during the lunch breaks you can rent them. Um, during non-class time, like even if you're not going to class, you can rent them at any time. There's also for the full day. Um, and then you can also rent them for the nighttime. So if you, cause we have the 24 hour open room, um, you can rent it for that, which by the way, the patrons over on Patreon and our Patreon group, they're currently voting on the poll to name the new classroom room it's not even really i mean it is a classroom because we are having like one class in it but it's meant to be like open for you guys to sew uh craft hang out chill do whatever you want during any time so yeah so they're right now they're voting the voting ends the end of april so if you guys want to join you can join any patreon tier even the one dollar tier and go on and like help decide what that name's going to be and then, um, yeah, so then we'll have a, a special name that you guys came up with um, on on the expo this year, which will be really cool. 
Okay. So the first question, um, are all the kits worked out so I can start saving my pennies to order them? Yeah, that was going to be one of my things uh, last night or tonight to put on is um, all class kits are available to purchase if the class requires a kit. I get a lot of questions about the Vizzy. There is no class kit for the Vizzy class. That, if you go on to the, I'll, I'll even show you guys. Um, I'll share my screen. Um, I'm sharing my screen. Sorry, I get distracted occasionally. Okay, so if you go on to... Here, I'm going to take away your comment real quick, Catherine. If you go on to the Expo website um, and you go to the classes section, go to the hands-on information because only hands-on classes have class kits. There's a couple different um, ways that class kits are purchased this year um, just due to the uniqueness and the variety of classes we have. So if, if you're taking any of the Nailed It classes, um, so those are like the wood building ones, um, things like that, those all have a purchase your kit by clicking here and it'll take you to nailed its website uh i'll just click it i think it should show you give me a sec yeah so you can go on here and you can go and then but the cool thing is you can put your name in for personalization and your number that you want on there and she'll have that ready for you guys um but yeah so that's how the nailed it classes are going then the rest of the classes minus the Vizzy, I'll show you guys that in a minute. You click available to purchase here and it takes you over to this page, which is also available in this classes dropdown uh, where it says class kits. You can just go there as well. Um, but it has all of them listed and you can go and some of them have options for you to choose um, between. Like for instance, knit headbands, you can select a theme of what kind of um, fabric you would want for your headbands. So you can choose those. Um, and then it'll tell you whether it's licensed or custom, um, customs are uh, slightly more expensive than the licensed ones just because of the cost of the fabric. Um, so there's that. And then the, um, the other, oh gosh, did you guys even see that? Oh, you didn't even see that. I don't know why I didn't switch. Share screen. Let me show you guys. Sorry. Is it pulled up a here? Can you see it now? There. <laughs> um, hi, Valinda. Um, okay, sorry. I meant to say so. If you go, we were on the other page before you clicked it, it took you over to this page, which you can also find by clicking this drop down box where it says classes and class kits. So you can go in here and you can choose through what you need. And these are all the ones with class kits currently like available. Um, please don't buy a class kit unless you're in, like you have a class kit, a class seat reservation. Um, and then, stop sharing. Let me show the Vizzy. I'll get faster at this one day. Um, Maybe it'll work this time. Okay. Does it work now? Yes, here it is. Okay. So if you go whee, all the way down to the Vizzy, I think it's like last class. No, it's not. Um, it gives you the materials to bring. These are all the items. Um, or you can just, you also need to purchase the pattern. So you can go here to purchase a pattern. Use this code. It gives you a discount. And then on the pattern as well, it gives you that list of items but this isn't a kit per se. It's just the pattern you need to buy. Um, but yeah, so all the kits are available for you guys to go ahead and get those. Um, no, you don't have to buy them like immediately, but the sooner the better because it allows the teachers to go off and acquire everything they need to and be more prepared and ahead of the curve um, and uh, get you guys class kits ready. Class kits will be available at the beginning of your class. So you won't get them at check-in or anything like that. You'll get them at the beginning of your class. Um, and they will have it. They have the teachers have a sheet that I give them that says who's purchased their kits. And um, so they'll know 
like if you've already paid for it or not. Um, but yeah, you do need to buy them at least one month prior to the expo. Um, if you think you're going to be one of those last minuters, please let me know ahead of time. Um, and that way we can get with the teachers and let them know that you do need one, but you know, you might be a little delayed. Okay. I hope that answers your question there, Catherine. Oh, hi, Lori. Lori jumped on too. Yes. And the Vizzy has the materials list. Some of the classes do have materials lists. Some have kits. Okay. Um, Vanessa, your question was last year I went and still have credits left over from my trade-ins. Is it valid or do I lose them? Um, no. So anybody that had done the DStash bash, if you have points left over, I have them in a spreadsheet and those are all valid for this year as well. If you want to know what those, how many points you have left, um, prior to the expo, just send me a message and I'll let you know what my file shows is your remaining points left and we'll go from there. But yeah, you'll definitely be able to use any leftover credits year after year. Um, and then you can also always add to those, those, your, your points, um, and so that you can go shop the DStash Bash again, um, which by the way, um, speaking of DStash Bash, um, uh, we, another Patreon perk that we're going to do is the DStash Bash is already like, it's filling up. It's going to have its own room this year. And I just DStashed my craft room this past weekend, um, cause I need a room and there is at least a full trash bag, not just for me of customs like custom fabric. So all you guys who love custom fabric, uh, there will be some in the DStash this year. So one of the perks that we're going to have for the patrons um, from Patreon, sorry, they um, they are going to be able to go shop the DStash Bash early. Sorry, my brain's um, all over the place. They're going to be able to shop it early. Uh, so that'll be a perk for them and it'll only be like a certain tier and higher. Um, we're thinking that the $10 tier and higher will have first dibs to the DSASH bash. Um, and it'll probably be Friday where we're still working on the details of that, but because we have so many customs and we do want to give our patrons um, more incentives, um, we're going to do that. So that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, cool. Vanessa says she has her receipt still. Awesome. Yeah, so um, I'll even double check to make sure you're on there. And if I don't see, which I should, because I have copies of all the receipts as well. So yeah, that's why we wanted everybody to have the receipt, but also I'm, I'm keeping electronically going forward as well so that it's just easier to track year after year. <laughs> Lori, I wish it was time. Actually, I don't because I, I'm not ready yet. I want more vendors. <laughs> um, and we have like, we have to get the welcome bags ready. The welcome bags, we're working on trying to get some like really cool stuff. So I'm very excited for that. Okay. Um, if anybody else has questions, feel free to drop your question at any time. Um, you guys' questions um, are kind of topics I was already going to talk about. So it worked out very well. Um, I talked about the machine rentals. Those are going to be available. There is a tab. I'll show it to you. There's a tab on the website um, where you can go. Uh, da -da. Okay. So if you go onto the website and you go, sorry, I hope this doesn't bother anybody. Okay. On the top under applications, there's a machine rental application. You go there and you fill it out. It sends me an email. It tells you ask, you tell me how you want to do it. You want to do it by the class or by the day for the full day. If you're doing it by the class, I obviously need to know what class you want it for. There's even um, lunch breaks in there if you want to specify that. And then you can also just drop me a comment, you know, about whatever you need. You know, oh, I want it after hours or, or could I do this? So uh, if anybody doesn't want to bring their machine or like traveling with it, it's too much, they're really great machines. Um, they have everything needed to, everything on the machine to do all the sewing based classes. So that that's really cool. So we have 12 machines this year. I'm very excited. They're all in. Um, and I have to start the, the training videos for my, for my staff so they know how to troubleshoot them. But they're brothers. They're very simple, very easy to use. Um, never had an issue with a brother in my life. 
Um, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just double checking. Um, laugh aloud. I need to figure out my points. Lindsay, I just, your points are ridiculous. Um, Lindsay is one of the people that mails her D stash bash items to me ahead of the expo. So that way we, we always want like a big pile from the very beginning. Uh, and you guys can bring your D stash bash items at any point during the expo. So even on Saturdays and Sundays, we get new items in, uh, if you want to mail it to me, or if you want to um, have a local pickup here in Central Florida, just send me a message and we can work that out. And then I just put your points down on the sheet and it's ready to go. So yeah, Lindsay, bug me later about your points because you have a whole lot. Um, okay, how many vendors do we have so far? Huh. Okay, so we'll talk about vendors in a minute. I am gonna show the vendor page. I think we're at 10 or 11, 10, 11. I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but they all have different, a lot of them have different size booths. Some are bigger booths. And then we're working right now, fingers crossed. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from Gaylord if we got an extra room right there in the atrium to have like a second vendor hall. Um, we're really hoping that we get it. Some Another event has the room currently. Um, so we're trying to sweet talk them into letting us have it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that'll be, that would be awesome because then we could add quite a few more vendors. We do have um, a couple spots currently left in the vendor hall, but we're quickly filling up that one vendor hall already. Um, let's see, what have I been doing? I don't know, Lori. Um, Playing on my new sewing machine. <laughs> it's slacking off apparently. <laughs> oh man. Um, is it at Gaylord again? And is is it going to be in the same rooms? Yes. So for 2021, it is in it's at and 2022, it's at Gaylord um, Palms again in Central Florida in Kissimmee, right on the edge of Disney property. It will be the same rooms this year. Next year, we might have to go into the convention area because we are definitely growing and we're going to need more space next year. And the convention side of Gaylord has way more room. Uh, but this year, yes, we're going to be in the main atrium again in the same room. So it'll be Orange Blossom Ballroom is going to be where the main vendor hall is. Check-in table will be in front of there again. Uh, and we'll have the map up and everything as well. I believe it's already on the website of where those rooms are located. Uh, we have them highlighted for you. So yes, that'll be in the main area again this time. And the, the really cool thing is because things are opening back up, Gaylord uh, remodeled a restaurant that wasn't even, like you couldn't see it last year because they had walls up around it. So there's a new like buffet style restaurant for people that want something quick and cheaper option for food. And they're going to have, I think, something else open by October as well. So there's more things open, but yes, the same location. Oh, thanks, Catherine. Yeah, the uh, the machine rental application was, uh, it was fun to try to figure out how am I going to ask people what do they want to do and not charge them like right up front. I don't know. It was a mess, but Hopefully that system works. It's a new system. We're trying to be bigger than or better better than the other expos and give you guys the ability to not have to carry your machine around or bring one if you don't want to. Hi, Madeline. Welcome. Um, Diane, did Craft Chameleon contact me? No, they have not contacted me yet. Um, normally I have my notebook so I can write things down. Sorry, you guys see my face is close for two seconds. I can't. Oh, there's my pen. I'm going to write it. Say craft chameleon. Okay. Um, no, I haven't got anything yet. Um, I haven't received a a vendor application from anybody in the past week or so. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so since we're on the topic of vendors, I'll just talk about vendors. So new vendors alert, yay. Okay, I just announced a vendor too uh, before I came on because uh, I meant to do it earlier and I didn't. <laughs> um, but so if you go on to the about page or the about section and you go to vendors and sponsors, sorry about that. Um, you can see the list, uh, but we've talked about a lot of them, but the one I wanted to talk about today that we just uh, announced is Emporium Threads is coming. And I'm going to, I just emailed her right beforehand. So she's going to have handmade items, like in, inmade items. Um, but the, the key thing that she's bringing, so she's bringing hardware to sell, but the key thing that she's bringing is she's going to bring a machine so that you guys can get custom made bag tags, bag labels, and you can get them custom made at the expo. Like her husband has a machine that, and he does her labels. So uh, they're gonna bring that and it's gonna be an interactive booth for you guys to be able to get bag labels made then and there. And so she said, currently at this stage, they're gonna bring the following to So Magical Expo. They're gonna bring leather, leather slash synthetic leather labels with show exclusives and a machine to do the, the labels on demand. Um, um, she's gonna have pick and pull metal purse hardware in six color finishes. She'll have um, up to, but maybe not included, um, uh, uh, limited to D rings, rectangle rings, rivets, lobster claws, metal strap adjusters, zipper and caps, strap ins, back feet sets, in each color to pick and choose from. We'll have a pick your part style so you can grab a little or a lot depending on what you want or need. Um, or, and you can also get like your your hardware you need for some of the classes. Like if you're missing something for the Vizzy, like she will probably have it. Uh, then she's also gonna have like show exclusive fabric garage sale. Um, think of how like Kat did it at Oliver Hart's designs booth last year. Um, she's bringing a selection of pre-cut and packaged custom fat quarters and fat halves from a few popular fabric groups. Um, not any of the other vendors that are coming. So none of their custom stuff, but like other groups. Uh, and then I'll have a selection of my own finished goods as well. Uh, she's gonna have some, a few maker tools available too, like templates for rivets and zippers available but she hasn't worked out all the details yet, but uh, that's really me. She's bringing that. That's not stuff that she typically sells. She's doing an exclusive for the, the expo. And so, yeah, so I'm very excited. I know you guys were looking at getting a um, somebody that could do custom labels. So, and I personally am so picky and I want bag labels, but I can never, I don't know. I want to see and touch and feel. So I think this is a really good option for you guys as well. Ooh, I want like labels for clothing too. Okay. I can definitely ask the question. I know there might be one or two other people I'm talking to that are considering coming with a booth that are, uh, <laughs> that are, <laughs> But talking about bringing a booth and they're talking about having custom bag labels as well uh, in different material bases. So she's more on like doing leather type labels, vinyl leather type thing. Whereas some of the others might do what Catherine's talking about, like clothing labels, like a woven label. So we're trying to get as much diversity as possible for you guys. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know who this is. I can't see your name. If this is your first time on here, I can't see your name because you just have to click the link at the top, like where you're watching this. There's a link that says uh, streamyard.com slash Facebook, something like that. You click it, it gives them permission to see your name, but who's the famous cat? So if this is cat, haha, ha, very funny. If it's not, oh, it's Rose. Hi, Rose. So cat is the owner of Oliver Hart Designs who is teaching the Vizzy class and the photo box class. Um, and she's also good friends with Laura Mormino um, from Mormino. So yeah, that's the infamous cat. She's one of our teachers and she's she's the pattern designer, pattern maker of the Vizzy itself. So yeah, she'll be there all weekend teaching.
and doing all sorts of things. Okay. Oh no. So, oh, and then there's a teacher, I or a teacher, a vendor I haven't un, like announced on social media yet, but I did want to bring this one up. I thought this was really cool. Uh, Kathy from, um, I'm going to butcher this and I apologize. I, I said creations and fabrics. I apologize. Um, she's going to be coming and she's going to be bringing Expo exclusive items as well. She sells custom fabrics, hardwares. She runs pre, uh, pre-orders and retails. She has really cute stuff. Uh, there's some, you know, fandom stuff, Disney stuff, uh, really, really cute stuff. Go join her group as well. You can click the picture and it takes you to her logo, the logo on here. You can click that and it'll take you to her website. But I'm going to announce her on social media this week, if I remember. I'm so bad at that. Like social media posting is not my thing. <laughs> um, okay, close. No worries. It's tough. Okay, my bad. You're going to have to tell me how to properly say it in person. Yay. Yeah. Um, so I'm really happy that they're going to be coming out and they're going to have a, a neat booth as well with some really neat stuff. Um, I said neat too many times. So they, but they have uh, up to 10 fabric bases, which is amazing. I mean, that's a lot of bases. They have zipper pulls, zipper tape, miscellaneous hardware for, you know, bag making and all sorts of stuff. And then, the, you know, they had fabrics for uh, clothing making and things like that as well. Okay. But yes, I will be announcing that this week. Uh, yes. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Stop sharing screen. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, vendors, that's definitely the one I want to talk about, but, oh, Catherine, you asked how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We have 11 in the vendor hall and then we have sewing studio, which is a classroom, a classroom vendor. They won't be in the vendor hall, but all their machines in the room will be available for sale. So you can definitely go check out their classroom and see, and there, I think they might have more than uh, just machines for sale. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to go backwards because I know there are some comments um, with questions that I have not answered yet. Okay. Lindsay, of course you asked. So <laughs> the So Magical Fabric uh, was one of the topics I wanted to bring up as well. I have the old fabric. I still have, I think, like three or four yards left of cotton woven. It's in the large scale. And I have maybe around 10 yards of cotton lycra still left. So if anybody wants to do that, you can go on the website and go under swag and there's a fabric section. You can go and purchase the current fabric we have. Now, the it, there's a redesign of the fabric. Uh, it's the same design. The colors pop better, um, but it's a smaller scale. The logo is about two inches wide, I believe, two inches-ish. So we have strikes coming. I got notification that they're shipping. And so they should be here this week. So when I get them this week, I will divvy up my the strikes out to my strike artists. They know who they are. And if I need more, I'll post I'll post about it um, and see if if anybody else wants to do. I I got cotton woven, cotton lycra, canvas, swim, minky. woven lycra, bamboo lycra as well, and cotton lycra. And the coolest part, we get, we're getting vinyl. So we're going to get those in. We're going to get the strikes up. And then we're going to run a, a short pre-order just so I'm going to order some for, to, for sale at the expo. But for anybody that wants to get some fabric ahead of the expo, um, I'm going to run a pre-order for you guys so you guys can get it. And so if any of the projects you want to make at the expo, is you want to do it with some so magical expo fabric you can do it so fingers crossed the strikes come in this week and then i can get them out to the artist by late this week early next week so yes i know i'm so excited i can't wait for it to come in okay um i thought i checked the events tab for the exchanges but i didn't find any listed are they available on the dot com site okay i will here, let me, I'm going to pull my Facebook up. I'm just, I know that I have like three conversations going on in the background. So I'm going to 
go on here and hope like nobody pops pings me while I'm on here. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you where they're at. Um, Catherine. Okay. So this is, this is probably different than how you see it because this is my business page version. Yes, sir. Not right now. I'm on a live. No, go. I'll be out in a little bit. Okay. I dropped, I did a giant hole in the yard. Where wow. was. Cool. Okay. Can you shut my door, please? Instant. Shut my door, please. So he started. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you go onto the So Magical page, there is an events tab. Shut the door. Sorry. So there's an events tab. You can see all the items listed. This is another topic. Catherine, you're beating me to the punch tonight. Hold on. I'm going to go shut this door as the boys are loud. Shut the door. Get out. <laughs> you guys stop talking here. I'm going to start locking the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Same. You have a chat? Yes, I am. There, I'm just sharing my screen right now. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you go into the events tab of the page, but it should also be if you go onto the group. By the way, we hit 1,700 people exactly. Um, you should be able to go to the events tab on the So Magical Expo group because I've shared all of them into the group at this point. You can see all of them. So you hit see more. You can see the different exchanges that we have. There's quite a bit, just FYI. Um, and we have two more to add. We're adding a necessary clutch wallet um, exchange that somebody's going to run. And we are adding, we're adding one more. Oh, we're adding the Saturday night onesie party slash quilt block party slash just come hang out and chill in the extra classroom late Saturday night and don't hang out in your room. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, go, go check them out there, Catherine. But uh, since events was one of the items that I wanted to bring up tonight, um, I'll let you guys know. So this coming weekend, so the 24th, I, the 24th and 25th are Dapper Day at Disney. So if anybody's local or is going to be in town around that time, we have So Magical Expo meetups on both days. Saturday is going to be at Magic Kingdom. Saturday night at 6 p.m. is going to be at Disney Springs for anybody that doesn't have a pass or can't, you know, get into the park that day because you do need reservations which is awesome and then there's sunday is at epcot so i will be there all the days um i'm staying out on property so i can be there the whole time you don't have to dress up you don't have to, you can come in like whatever clothes you want within disney guidelines <laughs> um but yes you can you can come and dress up and hang out or just hang out and see people that you miss or want to see from the expo. And there'll be different group of people on each day. So it'll be a lot of fun. So definitely check that out. That's one of the events we have coming up. That's not actually at the expo. So yes. Okay. Um, close labels. I'm catching up. <laughs> Catherine, I'll tell Luke and uh, the hubby that you said hi. Yes, the necessary clutch wallet. Um, I need to go double check because I'm right now I'm blanking on her name. Um, but somebody asked, uh, they're obsessed with the necessary clutch wallet and they want to have an exchange. So that'll be really cool if you've never made one or if you have. And then so she's working on the details and how it'll work and like a sheet that you guys can sign up on. And then once we get that figured out, we're going to put it up, but I think we're going to, she said she wanted to do it at 6.30 on Friday night. So that way it's after classes, but before that last peekaboo class. Um, hi, Suzanne. Thanks for joining us. I know I, apparently I picked a bad day. All you guys are busy today. <laughs> 
okay, but yeah, so I think I covered those items. Uh, again, if there's any questions, feel free to drop them. You guys, this is hilarious. So I'm going to go, I'm going to show you vendors. We talked about, you guys asked the questions. Event tabs, Catherine brought up the question. So SME fabric, Lindsay brought up the question. So <laughs> we've gone through most of my topics. I did want to share with you guys some like happy mail I got. I know I like watching people's mail openings all the time, uh, especially it's when like companies I may or may not know. And it's funny that Suzanne just popped on. So there's a couple, we'll talk about happy mail. Okay, so the first one I got in this past week that I was super excited about was my little pocket pillow. Or, no, sorry, this is purse belt, but it's made with so magical expo fabric. Um, Lindsay, who's on here, uh, she owns Humble Nomad Designs and uh, on Facebook, so definitely check her out. And then she made this awesome bag for me. If you can see, it's got the expo fabric. It's the cutest little zipper pull. It's so perfectly made. So if you guys don't aren't a bag maker, um, but you definitely want something with some customs or vinyls and things like that, she has a lot. And so these are the card slots. And this is perfect because I've been needing something for my to like organize my purse so bad. And then I can also use this as a wristlet, which I also really like. Um, so definitely check out Humble Nomad Designs on Facebook cutest little thing so that was the first one i'm gonna look make sure yes Lindsay's designer bags they are very designer um and then i ordered from zorrell this week because she had a discount code on her fabric retail only her fabric retail she dropped hardware retail today there's no code that I've seen so far yet on that, but I spent some money on that because I needed some hardware. I was uh, lacking on like basic hardware, but she has some really cute, unique stuff. And like she had rivets, she had ones with like little Disney D's on it and then Harry Potter stuff. It was cute, but I couldn't like pass up getting custom fabric like 35% off because she's trying to make room for new fabric. And I've been dying to get this Outlander fabric. I don't know if anybody watches Outlander, but I started reading the books when I was in middle school. And so when it came out um, as a show, I was so happy. But this fabric's so freaking cute. So I think she still has, maybe if not this exact one, she has a similar one where it's got the standing stones behind it. But this is cotton woven. I got this. I got, I love this fabric. Look how cute this is. This is and woven as well think she might have some of this left. A lot of it's been selling out, but this one's really cute. I, um, I like all the things Halloween. And then her vinyl always goes. So I was shocked that I got this, but I got that same design, but in the orange and I got her vinyl and it's a, it's like a smooth vinyl. So, and it's like, it's like a, about the thickness of the purple dragon vinyl, if anybody has that. So I was very happy. It smells like new vinyl. I love it. So I got these, this from Zorel, and I thought the coolest thing, when you get an order from her, I don't know if it's just retail, I don't know if you can see it, she does a scratch and win thing. I think this is so cute. Um, so you can try it. I didn't win anything this time. It says, sorry, better next time, but I thought that was a really neat idea. Um, so yay, that's my Happy Meal there. And then, oh, Happy Meal. So <laughs> Suzanne sent me a zipper jig that everybody's been seeing. And she posted about them in the expo group as well, saying that if people wanted them, that um, her and your brother would make them, make them, she or she would make them. But somebody was asking like how it works and they wanted a video. So I'm going to do it real quick. And then I'm going to post a video later, I think. Hold on, let me get some, let me get a zipper. I got this on so perfectly too. Okay, so I have zipper tape, right? Very pretty. This is, I got this from Lauren Mormino. Um, it's like the rainbow holographic coils, but pink, and it was like a Valentine's one. So I think I got like two or three shades of pink. Okay, so I haven't done this yet, so nobody judge me. My understanding is, <laughs> okay, so you drop it in there like that. And then this is behind it. This is my understanding. Hold on. Let me make sure. And then like normal, you're going to strip it apart. 
Hold on. Let me make sure I'm doing this right before I like show you guys and show you what they're wrong. Oh, I think I have it backwards. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> do. Okay, so you're supposed to put it this way. <laughs> and put it towards you. Put the zipper coils away from you. And then... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I just want to make sure. I'm going to take away the banner so you guys can see. And then I'm going to... Ooh, you guys don't want to see that. Okay. So let me see how can okay. do it on my knee. This sh shows how easy it is. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. So the pool is facing toward away from you, right? And then the main part of the pool is back here. You take the zipper and with the coils facing away from you, and you're just gonna slide it in like you like typically would, right? Like this. Slide it in. And then you just pull. Pull it. And then it goes right through and it's supposed to like work perfect every time. And so it's supposed to be a lot easier. I've seen people that, um, I saw one woman who, uh, didn't have one of her arms was able to actually use this and on and, and actually put, be able to put zipper pulls on. She, she always had issues before. So I think that's really neat. So if you want to get these, um, Suzanne, uh, you can drop your link if you want to. Um, oh, and Lindsay, drop yours. But it's Zane's, Z-A-N-N-S Creations on Etsy. I'll post it on Facebook uh, eventually. Um, but yeah, so I thought these were really neat. Um, but she did post about them. Suzanne Oswald uh, posted about them in the group. Really neat. Um, I've been wanting one. I've, ever since I saw that somebody came up with this design, I just think it's really neat. So... Yeah, I don't have to do them by hand. Oh, and then she sent me a surprise too. I don't know. You guys are you guys are so sweet, but she made this bag for me. Um, and it says this is applique, and it's embroidered. And then she did the back. She sent this to me, and then the inside's waterproof canvas. It's so big. I love it. It's so cute. I'm just like now I've got like a whole suite of so magical expo bags that I'm so happy about. So yeah, um, Zane's Creations. She's um, she does more like a lot of embroidery based items as well. Yes, Suzanne did comment a minute ago. I don't know if she's still on or not. Um, I don't know. I'll let Suzanne comment if she's going to have a booth or not. But she is um, a member. She's taking all the classes. Um, and she, Kate, her first year was last year and this is her second year, but she brings a lot of really cool people who are cosplayers, ask her about her cosplay stuff. It's really neat. Um, what she, and they run like a cosplay group up in Alabama, which is really neat as well. <laughs> it looks like a money bag. Yeah, it could be. Um, uh, I'll just put like a wrap, a uh, wristlet in the zipper pool and then I'll be set. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that was like the main happy mail. Oh, my other happy mail is I got my new industrial machine in the mail. You guys post what, if you got any happy mail in the week, in this past two weeks, I've been off for two weeks off of here. So if you guys got any happy mail, let me know while I'm still sitting here chatting away. But I also got my industrial Juki 1181. So I've been playing with bags again more lately. Well, it's like way over. It's like right here. So it's the next to the computer. And then I'm working on a potentially redoing the room setup. So you guys don't have to see my mess behind me. And this was clean this week, I promise. And then it is not clean now. Because now I have six projects plus my Dapper Day dress going on right now. And it's a hot mess. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy that I've been able to sew. And I've been, it's very distressing. Like, I don't know about you guys, but sewing is my happy place and where I go to, like, just chillax. Oh, Suzanne's on, but she can't see other folks' comments. Oh, somebody asked Suzanne um, if you were going to be at the expo. And I think the uh, question was, like, if you're going to be a vendor or not with, like, the zipper jigs and all that. So, um 
But yeah. Um, oh, somebody else got an industrial machine last week. Very cool. I, th I think like a lot of people I've been getting them lately. Oh, Tori. Tori's the one about the necessary clutch wallet. Hey, I'm, as soon as I saw your picture, it clicked. Um, yes, the 1181 is the one is, is a walking foot machine. That and the 57 something. Uh, but yeah, so the 1181 is a walking foot machine. I have it on the lowest so it like speed that the motor goes. And it's, I have to, I'm relearning how to sew, but it's very cool. Uh, it's, it's like when you get a new car and you go from one make to another, you know, Ford builds them differently than Jeep. So, you know, certain things are in certain places that are different and you have to do things just a little bit differently to make it go. I don't know. It's, but it's very cool. Love it. Uh, highly suggest it to me. It costs the same as like my combo embroidery machine. Um, it's, which is like a five by seven hoop. So to me, like. It was well worth the investment, uh, even if I only sew for personal stuff. I just, I think it's really a cool machine. Um, ooh, Kim says she got some oh so pretty. Oh, the, the, is it the Illuminations? Is that the 50th anniversary fabric? That's very cool. And you got two minky toppers. I've been wanting to get some minky toppers because they're so soft. I just have minky in general, and then they kind of, I just surge the edges and I don't even back them because Florida <laughs> and yeah, they're the best blankets ever. Yes. Um, I highly suggest calling Steve from sewing gold. They're based up in Chicago, but you can call the store or send them an email and you can explain to him like what you make. Uh, he'll tell you if the 1181 is right for you or if the higher, grade machine like if you're sewing through a lot of leather um the higher level one might be better of the walking foots but he's got more than just jukies he's got a lot of different ones he's got um cylinder arms all sorts of stuff but he's super super nice guy uh, i had like one issue with my synchronizer and he like face chatted with me um so i could show him the machine and the error code i was getting really nice guy so i highly suggest just calling even if you don't buy from him, but honestly, he had the best prices that I was seeing because there's places here in Florida that I could have got from, which would have been easier if I needed service, but I, it was like $400 cheaper. So I don't know, do your research, but uh, call him, talk to him. He'll help you at least narrow down the machine. Hi, Carrie, welcome. Okay, Suzanne says, I'll be there, but not a vendor. I'll bring several of the zipper jigs, but I'll t be taking class in every time. So like, yeah, Suzanne t is literally in classes the entire time, which cracks me up. Oh yeah, um, she, okay, so I brought up about events before and I said one of the, I have two events missing right now. I have the Saturday night party one and I have your necessary clutch wallet and that you were, were you and me were working on coming up with like the details of how it would, would, would work, but that we were talking, you could tell me if I'm wrong. I said Friday at 6.30. I didn't look at my messages to confirm that. So I apologize if, if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, that uh, a couple people thought that was a really neat idea because it's such a popular pattern and it's really cute and versatile wallet. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Okay. So oh, so pretty. The illuminations is like an outline watercolor. You're going to have to like post a picture of this because I don't think I saw this. And then I'm going to be upset if I didn't um, get some fabric. That's really pretty. Oh, so pretty has been coming out with some really pretty fabric. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to do the pun. Uh, but yeah, their stuff has been, I think, I don't know. I've been liking their designs more lately. Tell Steve to come to SME. That'd be awesome. I just, I really do want somebody that's an industrial seller, like uh, an industrial, I'm thinking blanking on the word, sells industrial sewing machines, whatever you call them, to come and like shows because you don't see them at a lot of shows. You see the big quilt, quilting arm machines, but you never really see the industrial machines. And I think because so many people are bag makers, but they also have industrial sewing machines for people that are clothing makers and things like that. And I 
I just think that if people sat down and tested one and just that's how it convinced I was convinced to get one. I I found somebody that had one and I just they let me play on it and yeah. So I would love for that to happen. I don't know if I can get him from all the way from up north, but uh, there's a somebody down in Tampa, St. Pete area, who sells industrials as well. Gigi's, is it Gigi's Fabrics? Um, but she oh, runs the group Juki Junkies on Facebook. So I I might be more likely to get her, but we'll see. We're we're trying. We're trying to get somebody that does industrial machines. Uh, that's a lot of cargo for them to tote. Okay, Catherine says she has a question about zippers. I have a jacket to repair for a customer. It has a 21 inch zipper. Do the custom zipper sites also have those zipper stops at the beginning and the end to put on the zipper tape to make it a custom size? Okay, some of them do, yes, some of them don't. They don't come on the zipper. So if you buy, um, um, so if you buy zipper tape, it's endless. Um, right. So this is a cut piece of zipper tape. It doesn't have anything on the ends, but a lot of the co the hardware companies, like if they sell zipper tape and stuff, they usually sell the hardware. A lot of them sell zipper stops. Like I know Zorel has Zorel fabrics go on their website. Z O R E L L E. Um, they're one of our vendors go on there they just did a retail drop but they have on there so at least you can see what it looks like they have the zipper tops and you stops and you just install them and then that way it becomes your own custom one i don't know many custom zipper sites that do pre-cut zippers that have the stops on both ends with like a pull on it uh i would say you probably would probably be better off going to like a regular like sewing store, like sewing studio, Joanne, something like that, fabric warehouse. Uh, yeah, but definitely check that out because I know you can buy them to create your own zipper stops. I know a lot of people just put a piece of fabric and create their own like zipper tab situation, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the one that you need for jackets either, but that's where I would go first. Okay. I was right then. Tori said, yes, Friday at 6.30 p.m. for the necessary clutch wallet swap. Working on getting the form together. So, yeah, so keep an eye out for that. And then pajama party Saturday night. Yes, I know. I need to get that that up as well, the, um, the event up. I'm slacking on that, which uh, I need to do. <laughs> And Suzanne even sent me all the things that I need to put on it. And I'm just, I'm behind. So it's on my to-do list though. I promise. Oh, Lillian's here. Hi, Lillian. Drive safe, please. <laughs> yes. Oh, so pretty is, oh, I didn't know they were, they're floral based. That's very cool. Oh, maybe I'll go bug them too. The more custom fabric people we get to come, the better. <laughs> um, Oh, they only had 20 and 22. You might want to get a size up in your zipper and then just try to fit it in that way. But I am not a professional seamstress, so do not quote me. Oh, that's a good idea. Rose said, yes, it would be cool to have someone show how to clean a Juki, for example, an on-screen demo in a room. That's a good idea, too. I can definitely figure out. Um, we are full on all classes this year, obviously. But it, that would be a good idea for like a future class to have just, um, even if they can't come, they can do virtual demos of different things. He's got a lot of cool YouTube videos as well. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. We're almost to an hour this way. Tori says... I thought about doing a fabric booth, but I think I'm going to wait until next year. This year, I kind of went vacation. Totally understand. Yeah, um, I know a lot of people fight that like that battle of, do I want to take the classes? Do I want to be a vendor? Do I want to teach? Um, and some people find a good balance between them. Uh, I know a lot of people that do the booths, but also want to teach or do classes. They usually bring like at least an assistant or two while they're off doing other things. Uh, but that's always, yeah, if you want to have a booth, we're going to re 
we're working on trying to get the dates for next year um, released in the next few months, like June, July timeframe. And then once we do that, we'll, we already have some teacher applications in. we'll start working teachers. And, but that way we're working those before the end of this expo, we're working them ahead. And that just means we have more time to add more vendors and make sure we have like a really big room with lots of space and lots of vendors for you guys this year. And then who knows, we might even increase the number of classrooms going on at one time. <laughs> Cause we don't already have four classrooms going on at one time, you know, concurrently all day for three days, but more classes is what I keep hearing from you guys. Um, so you guys know there are still some of the rooms available. If you need a room at our discounted rate at Gaylord, please go check it out as soon as possible. It's under the about section on the website, click hotel or so magical expo.com slash hotel. We get a discounted rate. Um, and yes, you get a discounted rate and comparable to the area. I think it's a good deal. I know it's not in everybody's budget, but we do always want to provide that option to you guys. But because of all the things going on in Orlando the weekend before and that week, Disney's 50th anniversary, if you guys didn't know, um, they the rooms are booking up very quick so if you run into an issue like you want to check in on a wednesday or thursday our room rate is good for three days before up to three days before and after the expo so if you want to make it a nice extended long vacation you can with our rate but if you see like one of the days is missing just message me or call that number that's on the website and tell them you, you know you need your room and everything because sometimes even when they're we only get so many rooms in our block. Um, if they haven't sold out the hotel yet, which I've been told they haven't yet, then I can usually try to get them to squeeze a couple more rooms into our block and get you guys that same discounted rate. So just let me know if you guys run any issue trying to book your hotel. Okay. Um, again, you guys have any questions, drop them and then uh, we'll, we'll answer them. But what are you guys currently working on? Um, my favorite question to kind of, you know, wrap things up on for wine and chats. Um, I guess I'll show you guys at least one of mine. Um, so, and then that way, if you guys are going to Dabber Day this weekend, you can you, you can spot me because yay mass, um, you can't see people's faces. So I have accomplished something this week that I've always been scared to do. Um, which is making a garment. Um, I've only started making clothes in the past, like two, two and a half years. And they scared me. Um, they still scare me, but I always did a knit fabric cause it's so forgiving and it's amazing. And so I finally am making, I'm making a dapper day dress um, in this purple dragon fabric, but it's fully lined. I've, I've never made a piece of clothes out of something that wasn't a knit fabric. So it scared me. It's fully lined. Hold on. And underlined. It's got boning in it. So I have boning in, in the lining. Um, this is the top. Um, it's a pattern by, it's a charm. It's the company called Charm Patterns, but it's by uh, Gertie. Uh, she makes the most beautiful, like vintage type dresses and clothing. Like she even has like capelets now and shorts and just pajamas. Like, that just look like they're just beautiful. So I got this pattern. I've always wanted to do one of her patterns. So I'm just finished the skirt earlier today. It has pockets and this is the L'Amour dress. If you guys were curious, um, but it's, uh, this is the halter strap option. So it can tie this way, this way, and then, or you can tuck it, but it is a strapless technically. Um, so I got my first ever corset. I'm so excited. Uh, finding a corset when you're under five foot is not easy, by the way, uh, because I have a short torso, not necessarily just short legs. And that was fun. So now I'm just going to attach the two and I have to put a zipper in, which is the other thing that scares me. But her, she released YouTube videos to go with that pattern that you used to have to pay for. But last year she released it as like a stay home and sew initiative thing she was doing during um, the pandemic. And she uh, 
she released the videos for free. And so it's like four hours worth of videos on how to make this dress. And she watched like, it's not the ones where they just like skip through the steps, you know, oh, go sew this and then we'll come, come back. She walks you through everything. She shows you how to press correctly. And like, there's so many good tips and tricks. I would love for her to come teach, but her classes are like multi-day classes, not one day, like you can get something done. So maybe in the future we can offer something with her, but she is not cheap, uh, but she's really amazing. Anyway, sorry, rambling off topic. Yes, so the videos have been super helpful and it's actually probably the best like starter dress I, like I could have like kicked it off with. So I'm very happy. This is purple dragon fabric, by the way. I have vinyl that matches this. So I need to figure out a bag. Uh, um, all my friends are enabling me um, to get a fascinator. I have to figure out how I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup. I'm, I'm doing all the girly things and I don't do the girly things. And who's walking in now? What child? Where's my my pen? I don't know where it's at. Go look. All right. I don't get in your purse. Okay. Um. I think my purse is in the car still. Okay. We're in the car. Huh? We're in the car. Front seat. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go and get it. Okay. Sounds good. Bring the whole purse in the house, please. Um, <laughs> dress up is my thing from Catherine. That's so funny. Yes. Uh, I've always wanted to do the dressy uppy thing and I've always been afraid to, but I feel like Dapper Day is a very safe environment for me to do this and try to make something of my own. Um, so proud of your course of making. Did you did the spiral boning work out for you? It looks beautiful. Yes, I did this, but I did spiral boning. Um, we had the wire cutters. I got pre, I got 10 inch spiral boning. So I only had to cut one size, one side. And she had a really cool tip was instead of getting the caps to put on them is to use Teflon tape. And it was really neat. So yeah, that, and I used bias tape instead of boning channels, but it worked really well on some, on the princess seams where it had the curve. So yes, I was freaking out about doing the corset style, but I really wanted to do it because I love the shape and the silhouette again. So I, uh, Catherine was my inspiration and she like, she was like, just do do the thing. Okay, let's see, what are you guys making? So I can stop talking. Um, we started making the Lewis wallets and they're addicting. Okay, you talked about this um, in the Patreon call. Um, okay, so you need to post your oh so pretty fabric and a picture of what the wallet looks like. <laughs> so I know. Um, I would love to see what this this Lewis wallet pattern is. Uh, let's see. Constance says, oh, hi, Constance. I didn't even realize you're on here. Um, I'm currently working on unpacking all the moving boxes from her move last weekend. Oh, I didn't know you moved. Hopefully closer to Disney and not farther away. <laughs> Um, but I'm glad you had successfully moved. Good luck unpacking. That's the least favorite part of moving. I oh, know packing, packing's worse. Um, let's see. Suzanne said she sit, spent today running a powwow for teenagers at Whole Nuns. This boy left my door open again. No, I'm not sponsored by Techni, but by the way, if you want a chair, I need to get an affiliate link like Lauren Mormino has, uh, since I like, you know, I have them on here. I'm getting ready to buy a second one of these because of the new industrial machine. I don't have a good chair for that machine. Okay. Anyway, Suzanne said, I spent today running a powwow for teenagers and camping. It's raining now, but while we were dancing, the weather here in South Georgia was perfect. Oh, that's awesome. So you're not making anything. You're just hanging out with a bunch of teenagers. But that's cool though. Oh my goodness. Stop coming in here. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Carrie. Um, I appreciate it. I, it was scary. <laughs> I'm hoping that I don't screw up like the last step and I did not make a muslin and I'm freaking out that it's going to be too tight, but luckily I got the corset. So that should help like, tuck in the, uh, what, what do, 
what did I hear somebody say the other day? My fluffy squirrelness um, and like cinch in all the fluff that has accumulated recently. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> um, Catherine said, I had a week of, your thing is so big, it's cutting off my whole face. This cracks me up. Okay, I had a whole week of costume celebrating senior week at our high school. Monday was PJ day. Tuesday was Disney. And I went as Alice in Wonderland teacher was mad hatter. Wednesday was meme day. And I went as Wednesday Adams. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Thursday was twin day and Friday was senior citizen day. Whoo. That is a lot. I never participated in those in high school just because I can never figure out what to wear, but that's awesome. Four teenagers, not Fort. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> um, cool. Farther. Okay. Constance says she went moved farther away. Went from downtown to related to Longwood. Yeah, that's farther away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Catherine says she always makes a mock up of muslin. You are brave. Yeah. Well, I procrastinated on making the dang dress until this past week and because Dapper Days, you know, this coming weekend. And I knew it was going to take me a couple days just because I work and all the expo stuff and all the other things going on. So I just did the thing. I measured myself like a million times over. I followed her instructions very closely. I've clearly fit into one size. So fingers crossed. The only snug area so far is just my waist. My hips are fine so far. Uh, my bust, all that works out just fine. Then again, I haven't put in the zipper, so fingers crossed, you guys. If you see me like, like not eating that day, you know why. <laughs> okay. Um, well, if anybody has anything else they're working on, let me know. Um, and again, if you ever have a question or a comment or concern about anything, Go ahead. You guys can message me at any time. Preferably message me on my personal page, Kayla Nagel Lee, uh, and not the So Magical page. Just because it's So Magical page, a lot of time those like those um, messages get lost. I don't always get notifications about them for some reason. I go and try to check once a week, but if you don't hear from me in a couple days, it, it might be why. And I'm just trying to think if there's any other items I'm missing. But yes, definitely uh, if you are local, try to come out and hang out and say hi to us. Or even if you don't want to do the meetup, but you're going to be at Disney sometime this weekend, um, you know, just say hi. I'm, I won't be doing wine and chat on Friday or Saturday this coming week just because of Dapper Day and having to get other things ready for that weekend. But I will try to do a live each meetup and we're going to get pictures and we're just trying to narrow down where we're going to do the picture location. So if anybody has like good, good picture spots that aren't going to be too crowded, but are going to be big enough for maybe like, I don't know how many people are actually going to come. I know there's what it says on the event, but I never go off of that because people always say they're going to go and they may or may not go or they don't click it and they end up coming. Uh, but I mean, it needs to be somewhere that preferably shaded. Uh, somebody said the, the Snow White well at Magic Kingdom would be a good one. I like that idea because it's not right in front of the castle where everybody who's dressed up is going to be trying to take pictures. And there's sometimes photo pass people there. Hi, Lynette. Welcome. Um, but Epcot, I was trying to find, think of like a good place to do like an Ep the Epcot meetup. And then Disney Springs, we're still trying to figure out where we're going to do the meetup at all. Um, at Disney Springs, but that's going to be 6 p.m. on Saturday. Yes, Catherine, I've been trying to do a little bit of Fridays and a little bit of Saturdays just to catch everybody, but yeah, especially Saturdays, so we can get you on here. Um, but yes, and then I think we might do the meetup at Disney Springs on Saturday at like a bar or restaurant as well, just so we can just sit down and chat and um, not, you know, just have a very chill atmosphere. Um, and then I'm staying at a hotel right near there. So 
I'm going to be super close. So the other thing I have to figure out is if I'm going to wear the same Dapper J dress two days in a row, um, where I'm staying has a washer machine, but I'm low key worried about washing this dress because it has the boning and it has all the things. So Catherine, you can tell me if I'm safe to wash it. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. And but I will not have time to make a second outfit. I might just take an existing dress I have and somehow style it. It's cute. It looks 50s-esque. It's a polka dot dress. Uh, style it to maybe fit some theme. Okay, hand wash it. Okay, and then line dry. Okay, I can do that. Hand wash, line dry, got it. All right, so if you guys see my dress two days in a row, just trust me that I washed it and I'm not, I'm not nasty. <laughs> okay. I don't have anything else to talk about tonight. I don't think so. Um, you guys are always welcome to message me. Um, no wine and chat next week. Uh, oh, and then the Patreon call. Don't forget if you guys want early access to the D stash bash, uh, or you want to vote on the, the new room name. Uh, I, I'm going to stop calling it classroom because it may or may not have the word classroom in it. Uh, some of the options include the word lounge. There's some really good ones on there, but you can go on if you join Patreon, uh, which is it's tagged in our announcements. So you guys can click the announcements and check that out. You can go on there even if you join the one dollar to hear your give your allowed voting rights on any of our polls and things like that. And you can go and vote on the new room name and like go on the poll. There's two, two of them that are currently tied for the lead, but we have until the end of the month. Okay. I think that is all. I'm sorry, Lynette. I didn't make this longer. <laughs> I went a little earlier tonight just because um, I knew I had more sewing to do and I need to go feed my, my horde of men that keep coming in here. <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend and I hope that I will see a, uh, a bunch of you next week, next weekend and, um, have a, yeah, have a great weekend. I don't know what else to say. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Bye guys.